draw a diagram of a DC motor clearly showing the location of the split ring commutator and the direction of any electric currents and forces in the motor. So let's uh, start off with the sketch of the motor. It should look something like this. Lovely little diagram here. Uh, north pole of the magnet, south pole of the magnet, and uh, of course the rotor in the middle. Now, uh, what's the location of the split ring commutator? Well, of course, it's this thing over here. So we'll label it. And while we're at it, we'll label some of the other parts as well. So we have the carbon brushes over here connected to the split ring commutator. And we have the armature or rotor in the presence of the magnetic field. Now, which direction will the electric current flow in? Well, we have a positive carbon brush over here and a negative carbon brush over there and current flows from positive around the coil to negative. So our current will be in this direction, from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. All right, so now we need to figure out the force. For this, uh, we need to know the direction of the magnetic field, which of course goes from north to south. All right, so now we know the direction of the magnetic field we know the direction of the electric current. So we can figure out the force. If the field is going this way, uh, the force will be down when the current moves towards me, and it will be up if the current moves away from me. Right? So our forces are going to look like this. Up on this side of the motor and down on this side of the motor. And the net effect, of course, is that we'll get a torque and the motor will turn around in that direction.